The Arts for All project, spearheaded by the Creative Arts Agency, aims to beautify public spaces in Accra. The project commenced with the first phase at the Akwaje Interchange and the second phase at the Tetekwashi Interchange. The third and latest phase was done at the Bema Camp Givat Road Overhead. The once dull overhead bridge has now become a picturesque centre worthy of taking a shot or two. The breathtaking graffiti designs interspersed with gas symbols and names were done by artists from the Ghana Association of Visual Artists and Accra.org. CEO of the Creative Arts Agency, Jankroma Kufuado, has more to share on the purpose of the project. This is our biggest one to date, as you can see. It stretches out of the whole mural as well, and the underneath and, the, and both sides. One of the main things I think for myself is to be able to, one, is to push artist visibility, whether it's just in our country or globally. Another thing is to make sure that we have ownership of our work. A lot of our work that we have, whether it's fashion or film or music or poetry, we lose our ownership, whether it's our copyright, whether it's our IP. I want to be able to, our, Af our African or our Ghanaian artists, to be able to be well versed in owning their work. Lead artist of the project, Manche Ayikwe, explains the idea behind the arts. The idea was to create a, a street art exhibition um, that informed the general public um, through symbols of the people of Accra. Uh, it's more of a tribute to the city of Accra, but then also um, representative of the philosophies and political thoughts of the custodians of Accra, but then also a tribute to the people of the world. You know, um, some of the symbolism is um, pretty universal. And the idea was to create a, a space where people can come and um, interact with public art, but then also be informed about history of, uh, of the city that we are not aware of, basically. Charity Debbie Akati, the only female artist on the project, shared how some challenges she encountered while working didn't deter her. She has an advice for her fellow women. The challenges for me personally was uh, climbing the scaffold. Sometimes you get dizzy, sometimes you have to just rest a little, but I had to move on and do my work. It's work, so you can't run away from work. So I'm so happy that um, I, I, I can be a symbol for other women to look up to and see that it's possible for us to do what the men do too. With phase one, two and three done and dusted excellently, we can only imagine what phase four and five will look like. Nicolas Ekoyamwa's report for Joy News.